guys, welcome into a new video. Today's video is going to be a little different than my usual videos, the cheat days, all those things. But first, I'm going to take you guys through a full day of eating. This was actually last week. beautiful people and welcome to the first meal of this cheat day. Oh wait, today's not a cheat day. That's an old... Oh, but guys, here we go. We got the first meal. So everybody, in this meal I got a cup of oatmeal, oats, with some strawberries and blackberries and chocolate protein with some cinnamon and almond butter and three pieces of Canadian bacon. For you that are wondering, Canadian bacon has very high in protein Two slices of these roughly have about 12 grams, which I think is better than actual turkey bacon or bacon itself. So I'm about to get ready. I got church today. I'm going to take you guys a little through what a full day of eating is, and I'm going to take you through this week and show you guys how I plan on losing five pounds in almost five days. So. Friends, about to head out to the gym for one of my last deadlift sessions before I compete. Today is Sunday, Saturday is competition day. Let's get it. Alright, guys, so about to eat my next meal. It is currently 3 54 p.m., and all I've eaten is that oatmeal. I got a little bit of clips in my workout today. I only had one clip, but we got some chicken and rice. I packed up my bag, meal prep and at its finest. So this is Jordan's because she has no wisdom teeth right now. But mine looks delicious. All right guys, so what we got next is this very exciting chicken, brown rice, some vegetables. It's not a pizza, it's not a donut, so. But that's coming soon. Just five more pounds to go. It's just like a pepperoni pizza. It's like eight ounces of chicken. It's like a lot. Look at that. Big old chicken breast. I also added in some pesto to it. All right, guys. Next thing we're gonna have is this enlightening peanut butter jelly popsicle, pretty much <laughs> ice cream bar. If you guys have not had this one, it's 90 calories. Super delicious. I love this one. This one's probably my favorite because it really tastes like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. So good. Mm. It's a super sweet, light calorie dessert that you can try. Time to go edit some great to be fit shirts. All right guys, so we're in with the last meal of today. I want to also drink the rest of this water. This will put me at two gallons for the day. I'm gonna get on water cutting to lose the last five pounds that I have to get. I'm about 180, 187 on most days. I have to weigh in at 183 pounds. So you have always gotta lose some weight to make my weight class, so. Last meal, I'm just kind of getting to seeing what my meals are. But you guys are gonna see this. The rest of the few days, my weigh-ins, the, the competition, and the cheat, okay? But if you don't want to see this, skip forward to the competition. Um, this is our next meal. This little bit of the leanest ground beef, I think it's the 96.4 or 90, with uh, carrots, some long green beans, and yeah, we just got some healthy vegetables. And then outside we have sweet potato, you know, with the best peanut butter. And then a little bit of sugar-free uh, syrup and cinnamon. So again, I'm keeping my calories roughly not too not too low. I like to eyeball things. I like to look at kind of portion sizes and um, 
because I've been I've tried calories a long part of my life, and for me, I do better with just kind of looking at my portions, because if I try to like count calorie for calorie, I get in my head and I'm like, man, it's good to know. But if you have better like meal planning, meal prepping up your stuff, stick to what works for you. Mm. It's good sweet potato though. You know, just add some peanut butter, give it that good taste. As you guys can see, I had protein this morning, protein with my second meal. Try to get four, close to four servings a day with like a protein shake. At the beginning of last week, I was actually weighing in at 193. That's my typical weigh-in. I did not film it, um, but usually I sit around 193, 195. That's my typical weigh-in. I'm 5 foot 10. Um, pretty active with the cheat days puts me up to about 195 I've got close to 197 um, but about two three weeks ago I did a cheat day got up to about 197 then I dropped down to 193 before this and I thought I registered for this competition I was like should I really register for 83 kilograms which is 183 pounds 183 pounds I don't usually sit around that weight um, actually I had to cut to get to that weight so I registered 83 kilograms we're getting close we're a week out now well today's gonna be tomorrow's a competition but I was a week out at the time here's where we get to the point where I'm getting through the week and you guys will get to kind of see my weigh-ins all right guys today is day two I know I didn't record day one but I had a hundred I was 190 pounds yesterday now I'm 187.4 off today's weigh-in again this is gallon one and a half yesterday I did two gallons I have till Saturday to go from 190 to 183. That's seven pounds in five days, roughly Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So about six to seven days, no calorie restrictions, just drinking water. Two gallons today. It's kind of a pain. It's a, it's a lot of water, but I'm going to take you guys each day through, show you guys what's going on. Oh yeah, more water. <sighs> Yum. Alright guys, so welcome to two days out before the competition. I have tomorrow, then I have Saturday. I'm about to weigh in. I'm kind of curious what my weigh in is. As you guys can see, I started off at 190 with my original weight. I didn't take the video of that, but I was 190 when I started. I was 187, and then we're going to see where I'm at right now. 3.8 pounds to go. Alright guys, the day before the competition's weigh in. Let's see. A good thing you could implement too is like an Epsom salt bath, a hot one, um, help increase your body temperature to sweat more. And uh, that's what I'm going to be doing because I had, still have a little more ounces to go. But I wanted to kind of give you my experiment with water cutting. Is it, you know, the healthiest way to water cut? No. But I, um, it worked for me for the week. Dropped 10 pounds, never done it before. So. Again, you don't want to drink all of this though. Like, if you got three gallons for the day, I spread this out 24 hours. So, or not even 24 hours, I spread out at least like 12 hours of the time I'm up. So, if I was up at 8 a.m., I'd be finishing close to, let's just say, for say 10, 11 a.m., whenever I'm going to sleep. Today is the day, as you guys could see earlier before. <laughs> Why am I yelling? Why am I doing this? I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm dehydrated. Well, not, not that dehydrated, but. Today, I'm going to take you guys through and show you guys how I lost the weight I lost. But first, I have to sh rewind. Gosh, I'm looking skinny. I'm looking like I could use a pizza or a donut. Alright guys, so we're about to go out to HEB right now. I need to again find some foods that I can eat. Um, I looked at a little bit of a list and I'm going to go see what I can get my hands on, what I can cook, and without gaining literally any weight. So, so first thing I'm eating today, right now, is this Think Thin <laughs> high protein bar. Can you not interrupt my intro? I'm just kidding. Are you okay? I'm just kidding. Are you okay? I don't even know what to say. <laughs> say I'm sorry. <laughs> 4:30 p.m. Man, that's late. Um, but yeah, I'm about to eat this Think Thin bar. So. About to eat this, and then. Uh, I'm gonna eat something from home. It'll be my last meal probably tonight. 
All right, guys, this is one of my favorite. It's gross. Mmm. Look at all that protein. I'll show you some of my snacks later on today, but it's not even Halloween yet. I celebrate all month. Very nice. Mmm, it's so good. I'm just so hungry. Mess up. Did you tell them I got my wisdom teeth out? In this video. Oh. Mm mm. Can we go to Chick fil A? Well, I'm not getting anything from Chick fil A, but. Guys, I'm so excited. Tomorrow, after my weigh in, after I lift some weights, you get to eat anything. It's a no holds barred cheat day. Unlimited calorie it's a cheat no, day. No hold what? Holds barred. What is that? No holds barred. I've never heard I don't know if I'm saying it right or you're making fun. It means like unleash, like no nothing you holds you back. Hold back. Yeah, no holds barred. I've never heard that in my life. Is that how you guys say it? No holds barred? Do I have, what did, I'm gonna Google it. Google it so I can be true. So you can be right? Yeah, other way, other what oh, I was just trying to say. Right. I know. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, done. It, we're going all out donuts, pizzas, everything you can think of, unlimited. All right, guys, so I just had that protein bar. I'm about to again eat most of my calories all at one time right now because my weight is fairly close. What I got right over here is some chocolate covered almonds. Almonds. I've never had these, so I'm kind of curious what they taste like. I guess it was a good thing to eat before, like a land. Those are so really good. Mmm. <laughs> like four more. Pretty good. All right guys, so last meal, again, it's gonna be super low carb, super low carb, because I'm trying not to retain a lot of water. Again, typically, I sit around 193, 192, somewhere around there, and that's like after a cheat day, normally. Um, but again, I'm down to 183.8, as you guys saw. I have half an avocado, I have an avocado salad with turkey bacon, chicken, some lean, um, sunflower, so, yeah, sunflowers in there, and then I have this honey Dijon. It's really low in sodium, so I'm trying to use this so I don't retain a lot of water. Like I said, I'm gonna weigh in today at their scales, kind of see how I am. Take an Epsom salt bath tonight, see how we kind of carry out. And I wanted this video to be kind of informational for you guys. I know it's not another cheat day, but the next video after this will be. And I wanted to give you guys an insight onto yeah, this isn't a long term weight change you guys will see my weight go back up but it's just what you can do if some of you power lift or and you need to drop weight this is the way to go I feel it was it was pretty tough I'm not gonna lie Tuesday through Thursday it was hard drinking three gallons of water like I was peeing all the time I was training clients like hey I gotta go pee real quick boom run in the bathroom and <laughs> it's kind of exhausting guys I was I've just felt tired a little bit this week um, and I've kept my calories the same. I just think my body's like, whoa. The way I was using the bathroom, like, all the time, number one. But here we got some turkey bacon, guys. This looks delicious. It actually tastes really good, too.
learn from the best. Second place. Oh man, guess who's back? Hi, welcome to Supple. How are you? Good, how are you doing? On to the next. It's time to enjoy some good food, guys. Back at it with the cheat day. I got a bunch of random stuff because tomorrow's gonna be my real cheat day for the week. This is just my cheat meal. Um, and to be honest, I actually had a cheeseburger <laughs> with Jordan. We went out, we had um, Bubba's. If you guys have never had Bubba's, it's a pretty good place. It's a little, little restaurant out here. And uh, we had Bubba's. I also got Whataburger Dr. Pepper Shake because why not? I was really craving that. And it was something that I've been wanting ever since I've been dieting down for this competition, so. It's everything I dreamed of. But yes, guys, we are gonna devour Nacho Bell Grande. If I can open it. Someone's being a pain in my butt. On my clothes. Mmm. Wow. I missed you, Taco Bell. Oh, so much. Feels great to be back. Mmm. Not just amazing. on some spectacular stuff. But I actually did like the, the mental aspect of cutting down on weight. That Dr. Pepper shake, man. Not the biggest fan of Whataburger, but that's, that's pretty good. I'm actually going to probably take these off because they keep clinging. Some of you that are wondering, Keith, what are you doing next with your fitness goals? Actually, guys, I just want to try to get stronger. I'm just, I enjoy competing at 183, but maybe down the road, see myself going into like the 93 kilogram or just overall getting stronger. That's my big goal right now. Um, I used to train for aesthetics, but. I don't really care now, I just like strength. Strength training is fun to me. Dorito Taco. Too bad you're not single. I, I would rather not. I enjoy my roast very, very much. Jordan. <laughs> so, got some fire sauce on this Dorito Taco. Let's get it. This is what I really look forward to. Cordita Crunch, or Chalup. I forget, is this crunchy Gordita, I think? I got taco socks on too. <laughs> wow. These things. I can't remember the name, but I think they're crunchy. I have the tonight dough. This is actually an old one I was eating out of it. 
Um, not too long ago. I haven't had ice cream in a long time though. Like besides the ice cream bars that you guys seen in this video. Mm. I miss it. <laughs> Got milkshake and ice cream. Again, like I said, tomorrow's gonna be the bigger G day. I think the burger too. I had from Bubba's was like 1200 calories. <laughs> These are actually really good, these chocolate covered omelets. Have you guys see me eating? I was snacking on these so much today. After I waited. I love these things. Mm. I don't have to buy it for feast the way you go. Last thing I'm gonna eat are these Haribos. Peppy cherries. I like these things. I haven't eaten them in a long, long time, baby. I just want something kind of cold. I was gonna eat these at my competition, but excuse me, I kind of forgot. <laughs> Alright my friends, that's going to conclude today's video. The cheat day, cheat meal, post competition, and the competition itself. I want to say thank you guys for supporting, watching the channel. Some of you guys knew I was in Galveston today. I mean, I thought it was really cool you reaching out and saying, what's up? So, appreciate you guys, constant support. Got a lot of things coming up in the upcoming videos that are going to be huge. I just want to say, have a great day, wherever you're watching. Peace, love, and happiness.